All right, we're in the uh, Sharuba Springs nine hole cup. We're in practice. Hole number one. I went and got a bunch of. I got the things so I get a bunch of practice tokens because there's some of these holes I want to practice more than once. Some of them I'm just going to come out like this hole. I just want to refamiliarize myself with it. But there's some of these holes I really want to go out there with power three, and I'm going to be using a Titan ball as my primary practice ball today, and I really kind of see what I can get done with a uh, Titan. See what I can get in with a power three ball, so I can see where I'm, where I'm wanting. We'll see how it goes. So hole number one. Let's see what we can do here. Hole number one. I'm gonna take a Titan, the king of balls. I want to take a rock. My accurate stuff. That's all I need. Hole number one. Now I should be doing a 10% where I left off the last time I played this hole. Was I was at 10% to the cup. Or 10% on the drive. And I'm not sure exactly what I was doing on the shot to the cup. I need to go back and watch the walkthrough, the videos that I posted in the walkthrough because I'll say what my stuff is if I can get an opponent speak of the devil hammer snapping birds now my notes from last time on this hole were rock kingmaker max topspin so a max dot rock you got four and a half tops well <laughs> Level eight, you got four and a half top spin. So we'll try that first. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. I need to get some water after this hole. So I don't choke. <laughs> I'm choking. Yes. What happened to Ott? Well, he, he was shooting a video and he died. Choked to death. None of his viewers could come and save him. 2 6, 2 7. There's 2 5, 2 7. Try and hit it straight forward. That one ring great to the right. <clears throat> My eyes are so watered up from coughing. <clears throat> you barely see it. Well, I got tons of room right there. The only reason that it would be beneficial to hit farther up this is if it will change clubs and it looks like if you have a power three ball from where I'm at I might be able to take this with my short iron but if I was further up into that hole with a power three ball I would be in max short iron It looks like from where I'm at, I'm going to be in minimum long iron. It definitely looks like it's uphill. Like we should be taking, not adding on wind, but taking wind off. I'm going to just shoot up a straight up shot. See where I'm at. Yeah, there's a man. I am damn close to man. Grizzly at man is 1.4, so it's times 3.6 equals divided by 1.4 is 2.82. There's 
2.7582. Isn't it perfect? That was with a 10% adjustment. I already had a 10% worked into my calculator and I didn't have time to work it off. <laughs> Just a little short and then I was on the and I failed on the wind side. So the wind pushed it off. That was with a 10%, so maybe a 15, possibly a 20% to get to the other side over there. 10% plus 0.2. <clears throat> It's a draw. Good luck. Got 32. Let's uh let's check out hole number two. Hole number two. And that's pretty much how I'm gonna play hole number one. I'm just gonna have to work out that second shot. Um I think I kinda like it better if I could push that shot forward just a little bit so I might change up that rock and change it to maybe a big topper that's good ball guide bounce it over there a little bit more top spin to get me up to the front that's probably the big I'm gonna make a note here I'm gonna change that up to a big topper it's not as accurate obviously I might be able to check out before I make that jump I'm gonna I'm gonna switch that to a QB so on this shot right here on hole number one, I'm going to switch to a QB because I don't think that I'm in. I'm not sure where my red line was out here. I didn't check. I knew I was going to start off on this side back here, so I don't know. I don't think I was at max club. So because I'm back behind the red line, I could use my QB from right here. My QB is going to be able to start off in the same spot, and it has more top spin. But it's got it's got like 55 60 something like that it's got just enough that it can get me that little distance i don't want to get too close to the end down there but i if i can push myself forward here my red line from where i was at was i don't like where my red line was i would actually like my red line to be forward a little bit more so that when i start off i can start off more on the green and maybe with a little bit more backspin I was trying to get it where my first bounce was on the fairway and my second bounce was on the fringe and then it would run to the cup but it wasn't wanting to do that. So it's one of those ones where I think it would be better to get up on the green where it's flat, put on a little teeny bit more backspin and then just try and bring it to the cup. I'll work on that shot. I think QB it might be a better shot getting down in there and that still gives me a 100% accurate club. Hole number two, let's check out hole number two. It's hole number two. Oh my gosh, I was trying to avoid hole number two. I think. All right, this part three. I'm doing. I'm doing a rough bump on this, and I, to be honest with you, I think it's a kingmaker, or excuse me, a grizzly and a kingmaker. And I'm going to use a titan. And I'm going to use a grizzly. I'm trying the rough bump at the beginning of the week here, and I'm going to do a 30%. I'm going to start at 30%, no matter which way the wind's blowing. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my calculator right now. I'm not going to change that out. <clears throat> and that's where I'm going to start. And I'm not concerned about where I end up by the hole. I want to see where I'm at, where I'm landing in comparison to where I started off in the rough. I mean, obviously the land spot on the other end is important but uh, I really want to see like where it's moving me around in that rough area this is borderline I think I may not be able to get to the spot that I really want to get to with a side a two side spin ball it may have to be a three side spin ball and I'll have to take this with a kingmaker or a katana but I'm not sure where the red lines are at I think there's there could be red line issues I'm actually going to switch this up for a katana. I'm going to 
do two sticks and my grizzly. I'm just gonna do a max. There's two six. Hitting it perfect. Let's see where I hit in the rough right here. Looked a little fat. I'll have to go back and watch the rewind out and watch it and see where it hit. It looked like it hit a little fat. But I'm not sure as far as top spin, like what I should be putting on it. I'm not sure what it should look like. I may play this hole one more time just so that I can get this on video a couple times. See where it's landing in down in that spot so I can go watch it. It'll be really important to try and hit perfects. Get a couple perfects on record. And then one ring great to the right. You're right. You're right. <clears throat> I'll have to go back and watch this particular video and see how I played it and see what the deal is. I might play this hole several times. Birdie. Put the ball to draw. All right, this next hole, this next par five is going to be like some serious, serious shit with the power three ball. And I'm not worried about timing out or any of that kind of nonsense. I want to go out there and see what it looks like with different clubs and see like where my red lines are at or like what the deal is. I may just snap the shot off and take it, but I'm, I'm definitely going to play this next hole several times. Let's go look at it. Yeah, I definitely want to play this one because I, okay, here's the thing. So in the walkthrough I talk about if you've got a power five ball and you're in this zone right up here, you're getting down into this hole with your big dog. Obviously the farther down here you can get the deeper into this hole. You want to try and get it so that you, you really, you could get way down in here where you could, but I don't think that you can get far enough down in here that you could, you could get over to here. You're still going to have to do the bounce over, but you could switch to a, you could switch to a club that's got better ball guide. You could switch to a Horizon. You could switch to a Sniper, Hammerhead. Something that's got more topspin and better ball guide. More accurate, except for the Horizon. <laughs> Getting over to here would be really nice, where you're coming into this area. Your red line with a Power 5 ball somewhere like in this zone right here. But if you came in with an Apocalypse and you really tried to get... You, you, you've got to give yourself some room here, but really trying to, to press the issue and trying to do a hook shot where your first bounce is here where the ball is going off in this direction and try and bridge this gap. Even if you just come over here and clip the rough and bleed out, not only are you the, the distance forward, but you're closer to the hole by cutting that corner. Now you can come at it this way. You've got a better, you don't have to bridge this. It's very easy to fall off the green if you're coming in at it from this direction. Here you've got a little bit better run at it. You could come at it from in front. You know, you got a, you got some options here if you could clear this. I've seen people do this. I've been down in this area because I mean, if you're, I've laid up up here and then I've hit down into this area. So <clears throat> I know that shot's pretty good, but I'm trying to see, I'm trying to square this fairway off right here. This is my goal. I'm trying to square this fairway off so that when my ball comes around the band from the tee box it's it's coming so by the time it engages that fairway it's already going in that direction and it's just flowing down the fairway and seeing if I can get a bounce out here on the end with a power 3 ball I don't know if your red line's here with a power 5 ball it seems like with a power 3 ball I could get somewhere out in this area if I used a big topper, like could I get my trajectory, like what kind of distance can I get? Because here's this little transition right here. I've made this shot from right in that area where I did a rough bump. I clipped the rough and I just rolled out and ended up right there. 
And this is a pretty makeable shot from right there. So you don't have to get far up in there. And I'm just wondering if I could come out here. Where the power three ball will hurt me is not here. Where the power three ball will hurt me is on the next side. So the more I can pick up here, the less it'll hurt me on the next shot. So I, but I don't know how far down down there I can get. I have no idea. I have no freaking clue. I know I need an F. I know I need a. But I could bring this bag right here because I didn't have an apocalypse before, and even though. <clears throat> that big topper's got more top spin. 36 more top spin. 15 less in yardage. It's, and it can go either way on which one could get me out there. I'm gonna bring the apocalypse. But I'm not I'm not too convinced that that big topper isn't the right club. I want to make sure I have both those bags. I'm going to start off with that one, and I'm going to bring a Titan, King of Balls. And let's go see what, what this hole looks like. And I, I am not concerned about timing out on this. I may play this hole like right now like two or three times if, we can, if it looks like we can get a trajectory out there. I'm trying to do it, see what I, what's possible with a Power 3 before I pull out a Power 4 or a Power 5. Let's see if the trajectories are are somewhat right. I have no idea. I can't remember. I know that I didn't like the... I, w I had success in the round on this hole, but this was a hole that I also had parts of the round that were in the winter major where the, this hole right here, I didn't catch it. I hit the fairway and then I actually ran off too far and got in the rough or I got too... I got stuck in the rough and didn't bounce out to the fairway. And everything wants to go. Let's see with the power three ball, like how much curl I have to put on that. I mean, can I bridge that gap right there with all the curl? If I did max overpower, I mean, can I just bridge it right there? Let's try that. Let's see what that does. Let's just see what a max curl shot can get done right here. That was two rings on the inside. If I don't clip right here, it won't be that bad of a trajectory. Look at that shit. And that's low down there. Where I've been coming out is more up at the top, up in this area right here. And so that extra distance I picked up right there, you may be able to get that done with the power three ball. And that was against a headwind. take that shot a few times though and see like whether that's replicatable or if that was just there are a few things I may change on that Let's see what kind of distance I have here and yeah, that's freaking awesome distance I could come at it from this side I've never actually come at it from this side before Put four top spin on it. Two six. It's one point eight per ring. So that leaves me. Eight. I'm gonna do a ring and a half. Hit it seven thousand rings. Great on the inside. And that was four top spin. You can see, like, you don't have to go much farther than I went, and you're off of this shelf, and you're immediately rolling off the backside. So, 
I'm not sure. I think I like that way a little bit better. At least you could see. And the other thing is from that side right there, I could bring out a sniper. And even though I'd be farther back in my shot, I'd have a little bit better ball guide. Actually, that might be a spot where a horizon might be a pretty good deal because I'm not... I personally am not concerned about trying to get Albi. If I have a great shot at it, fine. But the deal is, is that typically you're not. The whole deal is, is go up there and get the eagle. Most people aren't going to get eagle on this hole. And if you're off a little bit, but having great ball guide and accuracy, this might not be a bad hole for Horizon. It's got great ball guide and accuracy, so... <clears throat> play this one more time though. I want to see if that shot's replicatable under different wind conditions. Yup. Close. Game. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Do you not win a chest in the practice round? Evidently not. All right, let's let's go practice that hole one more time. Let's go do that hole one more time. Spend one more one more practice token on it at least. Let's see if I can replicate that landing area. I was about two rings off in my setup. It's one and a half per ring. I think I had like a 2-4 win, so it was like a ring and a half. Max. Top spin, max right hand side spin, max right hand curl. Two rings in. And I was, it looked, I think if I go back, when I go back and watch that video, it seemed like the first bounce was way the hell out in the clear. Like two rings on the inside on that shot, I was only like two rings off, so it should have been like real close. But normally on this type of shot, I would set myself up. I would try and be no less than two and a half rings off. So we'll have to see what it looks like down there. Yeah. Overcut the corner. Now this is where one of those four side spin, this is where one of those open balls, that's four power, four side spin, the whole deal. There's two rings and see it gets wider as it goes down there. Four, five, it's three rings. Hit a one ring, maybe two rings great to the right. <clears throat> there we go. Too far. And I was way in the hell down in that hole. <laughs> if I would have breathed on that ball, it would have ended up in the rough on the first bounce. It was pretty close up there at the top. Rolling out though is an issue. So I can't bridge this gap with a Nirvana. It doesn't have enough top spin. Let's have some fun since we're here. Let's have just a little bit of fun. Come on, man. 
see if we can max overpower hook it and get it up there. I took it out just a little teeny bit too far. That was pretty close up there. That'd have been that'd have been wedge shot. I would have got probably if I came in probably three rings from where I set that up. You can go back and rewind it and see where that was set up. I I I can guarantee you when I go back and watch this video, that'll be one of those things that I'll write down on my notes because you could potentially end up down in that area and knowing how to do a max overpower hook shot, like knowing where to set it up could get you up there into your wedge range. It'd be worth knowing where that spot was. <laughs> For sure. Nice, nice shot. Chip in the draw. <clears throat> oh no, my freaking Nirvana. There's Max, there's Max, there's Mid. I'm in the six-ish per ring mode and I'm gonna move it a half a ring. I'm 700 rings, two rings great to the right, and watch, I'll be lucky if I don't end up in the rough. That's funny, funny, ha ha, good game. Let's try that one more time, I want to try that one more time and see like is that rolling out thing an issue. Try one more time. Hole number three. I think the deal is you can see where I'm at as far as club stuff. I'm 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 forward now. If I wanted to take the shot to the left, if I was going to the green and use a big dog and bridge that gap. I could easily bring out a sniper. Let's do that. Let's let's so if I get back in that shot again, I could potentially let me let me think about my bag here. Let me switch this big dog to a sniper. So if I get over to that spot, I didn't have the right clubs. Long iron, Nirvana. That's definitely the longest hitting or club that I have. Ball guides crap. I'm gonna switch that sniper up though. Foe. Show. Let's get hole number three. Play it one more time. One more. I just want to see if that if that shot out there is worth, you know, like it did exactly what I wanted it to do. It didn't what happened the second time was I had, I got closer. I pinched in closer to that rough fairway transition over there and then I also caught it great on the right and it actually cleared it the first time through it actually clipped the rough and then rough bumped out into the middle of the fairway I thought for a second when it was rolling across there that it was actually going to stop and miss that sand and the rough but I was wrong once again. Maybe two and a half rings off. Four or five, that's three rings. it 
two rings great on the left, on the outside. Let's see what happens when it's great on the left. I think it'll clip. Yes. It's the great to the right. If you look at the terrain over there on the other side where it clipped the rough right there, the further you go to the right, it, it comes in. So if you do the arc for the distance, that distance out there, I think I can leave myself three rings of separation down in that. And if I hit it perfect, I'm going to be very similar to what I just got. If I hit it great to the left, one or two rings, I'll get exactly what I got. If I hit it maybe one ring great to the right, it'll I'll still catch it. But if I start getting two or three rings great on the inside, I could have a big, big, big issue. That's why I want to have that max overpower hook shot with the Nirvana in the bag. That could help me. <clears throat> if you hit a shot like that clear out into the fairway, it's got a lot of whip to it. You, you may pick up more distance than you think. Let's see if I can bridge the gap with my sniper. Nope. Means I gotta go over at it from this side. right at the edge of that tree whatever that shadow is that's right there 2-2 two, two. and see if we can hook that sucker around see if I can catch the fairway on this one nope didn't take it off far enough on that one I needed to go out another ring set so I was at that tree so I need to put my white ring on the edge of that tree and that's where I need to start. And then you can fine tune it from there. I don't mind going on these holes and having some epic fails up there because these holes right here, even if you put yourself in the right spot, these holes right here, like right there, I, you can't switch to a, a sniper. It doesn't have enough topspin. Like you gotta bring a big dog on this hole regardless of, or a cataclysm if you got an upper developed cataclysm. You could bring, like I said, you could bring a horizon. I may switch that up for a horizon. I definitely don't like uh, like what I just saw right there. back on the fringe again. <laughs> I'd like to hit one of those shots perfect. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what have we learned here? We learned number one, we can't we can't do this. You need to have a big wood. Sniper doesn't have enough top spin. I will switch this up. I'm gonna play this hole one more time. I want to get that shot around that corner. I want to take the shot coming in. It's not the shot around the corner. It's the second shot. Like, are we in the fairway? Are we in the fairway far forward where we almost got into the sand in the rough? Or are we in the fairway just on the other side because we rough bumped? Or where are we at? There's going to be different ways to come in there and it's going to be varying. And I really want to make sure that I have a way to get on. And that's that freaking sniper shot. Actually, that sniper shot might not be bad. I might have to, th I might think about that. The thing about doing those max overpower hook shots when you're out in the field like that is, is it's much better to do it with a club like a sniper, where you got lots of accuracy, you got lots of ball guide, you got lots of curl, you got lots of top spin, you got pretty good back spin. And so you can really kind of see where the ball is going to go. 
Whereas when you're out there with a big topper, it's hard to establish how much top spin or back spin you need to put on it. It's a draw. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna play that hole one more time. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta play it one more time. I wanna get one of those shots worked out and I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna keep the same bag. I wanna, I, I decided that I wanted to continue with that sniper because I think that sniper, if I have to do that max overpower hook shot, will give me a better shot of getting on. And I think that landing zone down there might be fairly consistent. Okay, there's two and a half rings off. There's Max. It's a ring and two thirds, or excuse me, two and two thirds rings. And I don't dare let go of the screen right now. I've got my stylus pressed up against my screen, hoping that it reconnects me. Hit it one ring great to the right. <clears throat> going to miss the fairway of the rough and end up over here in the rough. So this is that max overpower hook shot with the Nirvana and I think I was, I needed to come in a little bit from where I was at. I'm 100% sure I ended up on the outside out here in the rough. I didn't bring it in. I need to bring it in more. I needed to bring it in and I needed to bring the sniper out. Now I need to remember where I set the shot up. This is one of the disadvantages of being able to, I didn't, I don't get to go back and watch the video streaming it. I'll go back and watch those videos and see where those landing zones are and I can work the math out to, to know where to set it up. I think I set it up out here and I needed to go in just a little. Take a little bit of that wind out. I took about half of it out. That's about as far as you could get up there with a Nirvana to try and recover from that area. So on that rock right there, if you go back and rewind that video on there on that rock that's up there there was a high point on the left hand side it was in about a third of the rock but there was a high point and i was aiming right towards the high point on that with my ball guide and i think originally i was on the outside edge on the right hand side so i came in about maybe a ring set five rings And I was almost too far on the other side. I almost came in too much. Okay, there's me. I'm at mid club. It's 2.2 .2 per ring. At mid. There's 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to go just a little over two rings. Hit 
Pin it perfect. In the hole. So with a three power ball, you can get yourself into that zone. A four power ball on the drive, I don't think getting further out into the hole, you're actually gonna have to pull it back a little bit if you bring a four power ball. But I think that that four power, four side spin open ball is the ball. Because if you bring a big dog, you actually might be able to get, or you brought a guardian, you might be able to get over to the other side with a four power ball if you were on the, if you were all the way over. And that four side spinner really might help you. I'm gonna have to go back and watch these videos. <laughs> this is why we practice. We want to get this stuff on video, and that way we can go back and kind of analyze the shot and see what the angles are. See what we can get done with our clubs. I want to see what an APOC 5 is capable of because I haven't had really an APOC. I, I haven't used my apocalypse very much, so just trying to get, trying to see what its capabilities are. And that is super easy to do. All right, that was hole number three, 75 times. But it is possible to get over there, and it is possible to recover, maybe, or at least put ourselves in a position to recover. So hole number, hole number four. It is hole number four. This is par three right here. And we're going to have to go straight out this par three. And hole number four, I've got a turkey ball and a grizzly. So I'm going to practice today with a katana and a grizzly. <clears throat> and I was doing a max club at 30 with 30%. And it, and I was doing a one per ring, but I may, I'm not sure if I'm hitting my grizzly at 0.9 or 1 because I've I've been doing some of these shots that I have been missing with my grizzly and if I do the 0.9 I've been it seems like I'm it's it's better so I may even though when you get a bigger power ball it goes to one per ring I may stay with the 0.9 we'll see where it lands I'm going to do a one per ring right here We'll see where it lands. And if I need to do a bigger pull, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rings, calculate the rings at 0.9 per ring instead of one. That'll make a bigger pull. And if I over pull, I'm gonna stick with the one per ring, and then I'm just gonna change the wind adjustment from 1.3 to like 1.2 or 1.25 or change it down that's the plan now that we've gotten matched up this is a rare type of sand trap where it's fairway sand you don't see that very often They've got their white ring off. I would definitely want my first bounce to be at the bottom of that hill, and I want my second bounce to be up on the flat. Just like my opponent did right there, only I want it to be five inches to the left. <laughs> See if we can get in the hole. What are we doing here? We're bringing a katana. And there's Max Club. White ring off. Dialing it up, it's 3.1. Four point zero three rings. There's four and a sliver. Hitting it perfect. 
See if we can get that in the cup or see how close it is so we can make adjustments as the week goes on. That's pretty close. Right in the hole. Straight up. One per ring. One per ring. That works. All right. At least we got a spot to start there. Hole. What hole are we on? Hole number five. Hole number five. There's at least one more of these holes that we want to play. Like I'm trying to get to. Like this. This one right here is another hole that I've got that I'm bringing out depending on which way the wind is blowing so if the wind is blowing in this direction so we're getting some kind of headwind I'm gonna have to because what I'm trying to do is a second bounce rough bump off of this to bleed forward to end up right there that's short iron I think if you get right up next to that sand down here you might be able to if you brought out a big ball you might be able to get short iron range there as well but I know that if you're in this area you're inside the arc it's pretty close over here but I know this is long iron range. <clears throat> but if the, we have any kind of tailwind, I can bring out a power three ball and and work my way to this area. I don't really want to bring out any power four balls today, so I may have to do a little bit of overpower. And you can do this with the extra mile eight, six or seven. It's a little bit difficult just because of the top spin. It's not about that raw power. It's about that top spin. Extra mile, Titan. This tournament is sponsored by Titan, the king of balls. Yep, here we go. Playdemic should hire me as the Titan spokesman. <laughs> I've been an advocate of Titan balls since the very beginning. What do you spend your gems on? Opening up chests and Titans. Hello. <laughs> There's a few more options now. All right, here we go. If I can get to this magical spot, this is definitely one shot at a time. And this wind's not helping or hurting me, so this is a great win for this. This area over here that my opponent's hitting to, you think, ah, I'm just going to go down there to the very end and I got a great shot. At the very end, there's a bunch of movement on the course. And so, like, when you land right here, it's all nice and flat. Oh, yeah, pretty. Okay? And then you get up into the, into the end, there's a hill right there, and it throws you off to the right, and there's stuff on the left that throws you off to the left and it's not good we're trying to reconnect you there we go there we go yeah i picked a titan the king of balls i'm trying to do that shot right there It's 3 2. There's 3 2. That's a ring and a half. Hitting it perfect. We really want to, I really want to watch where the second bounce is because where I had it, it was in a really good spot and it hit pretty damn close to where I set it up. So I had plenty of room around there. If I hit a great to the left or the right, I had plenty of room. If I didn't make the, if I had forward moving win and I didn't take out quite enough, I still had lots of rough in front of me. Where we'll have problems there with a three power ball is against headwind. It'll have to be a four power ball. And at that point, it'd be good if you could bring a low wind four power ball. Because this second, this next shot's freaking, you got a great shot from here. It's a Hornet one per ring, 10%. In the hole. Gotta be a perfect in there somewhere. I'm sure of it. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm right at max club. One per ring. Be three rings off down there. Just dial it up to the cup. Three point six equals three point nine six rings. There's four. Hitting it perfect. Needed to draw it just a little bit more against that type of wind. Pretty good look at it from down there though. It looks like it's coming in about a million miles an hour and then all of a sudden once it gets up to the top of that plateau it just comes to a stop. When it hits that hill face it definitely looks like it's going to go for a ride. In the hole. <clears throat> Boom. Birdie. Alright, that was hole number five. Hole, hole number six is next. Let's check out hole number six. Let's see if this is one of that. That hole right there, that's there's lots of different ways that you can come at this hole. If you don't have the and the whole deal is is that I, for me personally, there is no way that I want to take this shot off of this rough from here where I'm having to use any kind of overpower. <laughs> I want to have I want to be able to work this wind out. And I could work out maybe a couple miles an hour of headwind, but otherwise I'll have to switch to a four power ball to push the red line forward so I don't have to do any overpower in this spot. But you can easily get down into this area in your long iron range. And you got a great shot out here from long iron because you can do that rough bump from right here. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. But I've never, this area out here, it's deceiving. This is an illusion. It looks because if you if you don't look at any of this stuff, this area out here is nice and flat. It's perfect. It's smooth. It's like, oh, yeah. But then, so your eye gets caught up with where you're going to start off out here. But the whole deal is, is that this area at the end is brutal. <laughs> you can very easily end up off trajectory. Hole number six. Let's go look at hole number six real quick. All right, this is a hole that I want to practice a few times because I want to go out here. I want to go out into this area right here. I'm going to start off with a big topper, or I may use that apocalypse, and I'm going to use a, a, a Titan. And now, here's the deal: is the apocalypse? I have no idea where the red lines are, so I mean, I may get out there and go, "Dude, you're an idiot." But if the red line with the apocalypse is farther forward that means that when your shot develops from back here you're you're on the right track but you're out and so you'll have to pull that club back so that club if you pull it back in distance where now it's distance isn't a deal and it gets into a, another club that's got those same characteristics my big topper's got better ball guide and I might be able to get a better run down here, so I'm not sure what it'll take, but I'm gonna practice this. I'm gonna practice this several times because I do not. The last time we played this in a tournament, I played the shot where you were coming off the sand over here, and your ball guide's going like this, and depending on the level of extra mile that you had, dictated how much curl you needed to put on. And just barely trying to clip the rough right here and bleed out because if I missed it, I couldn't get my trajectory right where I would bleed out to here. I would get stuck in the rough if I tried to go straight. I needed to bring it around to the middle. But I think that we can get more distance if we run along this way. We could get out to this area and make our second shot a whole lot easier. And that first shot, it's, it's, it's risky. I don't think we need to take all those risks maybe I'm not sure what these clubs will do I know that you can do a max overpower hook shot here with a QB let me switch up this rock oh man the rock might get it done too let me switch up 
Let me switch this bag right here. Put a quarter back in here. I want to have I want to have all a big I want to have access to the driver pool. It's got 83 curl. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can get it done with my big topper. I'm gonna to start off with my big topper and the Titan and see what happens. See if I can find a spot out there where I can get across. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can. And I may time out on the first shot here if that doesn't work. But uh, let's check it out. Let's see what the possibilities are. I remember this hole as being a hole. It's another one of those that if you... People, a lot of people were making it. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. Mother-in-law came home. Staying with us. Remodeling bathroom. Oh my gosh, here we go. Hole number six, let's play it. That was so long since I explained what I was gonna do here that I gotta remember what I was gonna do here. Hole number six. Let's see what kind of ball we need here. I'm hoping that a big topper will get me out in that direction. If I can get an opponent. Thank you, Roscoe. From the Oz Vikings. Or the OZ. See what kind of distance. Yeah, I mean, without even any max overpower, just like doing a curl shot. Like, can I get myself? There's the red line with the power three ball. I think I'm actually too far forward. You now, with the way that the wind is, I think I could be about right in here. Three eight. It's about two rings. Right back up towards the red line. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if I can get any kind of bleed that's running me straight down that fairway, or if I'm running off at an angle. I can bring that shot in just a little bit more where I was still like too far forward. But from where I ended up, if I hadn't missed the fairway, I still think like down in this area is about as far as you can get. Like trying to get up the hill. It's right down here at the base of the hill is about as far as you can get on it. <laughs> Excuse me, you can see the little whoop de doo right here? You can get right in front of that and that's about it. I really don't like how close they were set up to that transitional surface. But they're getting pushed back so now that's the other way to do it right there is to switch to a katana ball. You get a three side spin, so you get more side spin coming up there. And I had to pull back. I wasn't at the Titan's red line. The one thing that the Titan did afford me though is that if I had a headwind, I was able to pull against it. Now you can recover from up there where I was at, can we? Ooh, maybe not. It might be, it might be tougher than it looks. I'm starting off in the middle there because I want to do, I want to see what that looks like. Let's see how far off trajectory I could be and still get over to the other side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost caught it. And that was like a two ring good. <laughs> That's a five ring great. <laughs> it's a ring set. That's one away from slicing it.
That was way off, but almost made it up there. I still think you can recover from up there. You get a little bit, uh, set it up a little bit. What distance am I at here? Hit it one ring great to the right. One ring great to the right. That was of the distance. I'm going to play this hole again. I want to see, I want to play this hole and see if I can work that around. I'm going to bring a three side spin ball. The deal is, is the three side spin ball make that second shot. If I can end up in the fairway, it'll, I don't think it'll play that big of a factor. We'll see if I can bring a three side spin, two power ball, and get me farther up that chute. And I still think a big topper is the way to go. Nice shot. Nice shot. <clears throat> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's play that hole one more time. One more time. Let's go back and play hole number six one more time. I wanna I wanna see if a three side spin ball is it it's close. And I think I need to pull back just a little bit. I was too far out there. I didn't have enough curl to get around to the left. I was too far forward in the shot if that makes sense. I think though that no matter what spot I find with this katana that if we have a headwind you'll probably have to use a kingmaker and find the same spot that way you can work out the wind because you don't want to do this with any overpower your margins down here in this corner doing a curl shot like that are too close it would be better if you could set it up for max overpower Try and get as far down into that corner as I can and cut the distance. And they're doing the same thing, they're bleeding off. And with Max Curl, okay, so Max Top Spin. I'm, I'm switching balls. All right, four one. It's about two rings. Max curl. Isn't it perfect? Oh, and just barely clipped it right there. Just trying to get as close in on that inside corner as I possibly could. To so if you're coming across it at a, at a diagonal like that, trying to hit it as far down there into that corner. And that's just a little bit too far back in the shot. I could actually push it forward probably about a ring from where I was at. I'll have to go back and watch this video and find a marker out there like some spot on the course where I can go, okay, I have my rings like this. What the hell 
am I hitting back here? Oh, I'm hitting the flagpole. And you got to get close. 4-4. Four, four. It's got to be close to max club. Should be 4-4. Four, four. That puts me a ring and a half into power. Isn't it perfect? Oh, and caught that lamppost. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna try that shot one more time. And see if I can work myself around the corner. This is where that off-roader, if it was a couple, if my off-roader was a couple levels, levels higher, it's got very similar distance to the Nirvana, but it's got more top spin. The deal is I have rough irons that have more top spin, but they don't have the distance to get you to the spot that you need the top spin. There's Max. About three per ring. I'm going to do two and a half per ring. That leaves me one and a half. I'm going to do a ring and two thirds. It just feels right. Hey, one ring great to the right. And one ring great to the right. Arr. Close. No cigar. Take my putt. Make it a draw so neither one of us win a chest. I could be nice to my opponent and forfeit right here. And let them win a chest. It's a draw. I'm gonna play it one more time. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta practice it one more time. I wanna get that, I wanna get that, uh, that shot around that corner with that Nirvana set up. I want to get one of them on video so that I'm going in the right trajectory so I can go out there and find a spot. When I started off, I was at the top end of it, and where I shot just a minute ago was at the, like, that's the least I can go. So I need to be right in between there. I may not be able to put max topspin on it. But I want to start off with max to see like where I can, where, like, how far out there I can get before I can get into trouble. And this would definitely be one of those holes with a four side spin ball. You would have an advantage. Okay, I was way back in my shot. I want to be like right in this area. The side spin is more important than the top spin. Okay, it's 2.8. It's 2.1 per ring. So it's a ring and a third. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if we can get that to run up the fairway. I clipped it, I caught the fairway, and that's about as far up there as I can get. I could go just a little bit more forward. That might pick me up like five or six more yards, but I don't think I can get much farther in the shot. Because of the way that the angle is over here, the farther you move it forward, you are picking up some forward distance. So from where I had it set up down here, I was, I just barely came in right here. I had it set up originally, it came out on this side real quick. 
So I still have a little bit of room down there, but I don't think I can get much farther than the bottom of that hill where I'm at. I'm not sure what a three power ball looks like from here, or excuse me, a two power ball. The good news is I have a guardian, so I may be able to get over to the other side. I think if you're going to do the bounce over, you're going to have to have a sniper and you need lots of top spin. I think it'd be better to start off on this side and you got just a little bit of a window with a guardian. If I had a headwind here, I'd have a little bit of problem where I'd have to have a three power ball. <clears throat> One more benefit of a kingmaker. Three eight, it's one point one. There's three three. That leaves me five. That's a half. I'm gonna do ten percent. So I'm gonna do that right there. Oh, and I hit it great to the left. They went great to the left. I don't have that R emoji. I'm not buying that. I, I'm not doing that golf pass. I, there's a whole bunch of, there are benefits to it, especially the Q, the Q chests. So if you're working during the day and you've got silver chests in there, they're queuing up and so you got one queued and the next queued. And so you're never wasting any time with chests. I'm not a fan of where my opponent set their shot up at. Anything great to the right right here, and they have a, let's see if they caught it, yeah, they clipped it, because they over-pulled it. Alright, so we can get to that spot, and the Guardian isn't a bad club to bring. If we had a three power ball, we'd have more options. I need to take that thing off now that I'm not getting any more rewards from it. Opponent hit perfect. Should be in the cup. In the hole. Alright, so this hole is doable. And I think a Kingmaker is the way to go. And the Kingmaker is, the the shot that I took right there will have to be, a, it's about that spot. So you have to go to that spot, even though you got a Kingmaker, to get it over to the other side. But the Kingmaker will really help with that second shot, because if we'd had any kind of headwind right there, I wouldn't have been able to work the wind out. So three power, that's, that might not be a bad for a three power, three side spin, four wind. Good, good spot. All right, where are we? We are done with that hole. So that was hole number six. We're going to hole number seven. Let's check out hole number seven. All right. Now, I will tell you that this, this really does take a power five bomb. I think you can catch this with a power three ball if you've got the right kind of wind. But the way to go at it is if you want to try and get up there, you can try and get here, you can try and get here, you can try and get here. So you can lay it up out here and have a straight up shot at it. There's multiple ways that you can go. From here you can do a rough bump off of this tip right down here and you got a really nice rough bump. I mean this is not a bad shot at all. Especially from like the pro tees and stuff because if you're having any issues you could come out here with even a smaller ball and get this done and there's no secondary wind effect on that rough bump. So you have a pretty good shot at it. I'm going to see what I can explore out here and if this isn't working I may lay it up and do the rough bump. But I'm going to bring out power five balls in the tournament and try and get over to the other side. <clears throat> trying to come down into this area and bridge the gap. But right here, I want to see what I can get done with a power three ball. I want to make sure I got that bag. And that bag. 
I'm going to start off with this bag. I'm going to tighten. Off we roll. Let's see. Have we switched over? Have we gotten past the time? We have. Let's see what I got in my club card trading today. I'm getting close. Like less than three months away from getting... And I'm trying to keep one of my rares low. So I'm trying to keep my Houdini at really, really low. I haven't been putting anything into it. Because I want to, when I start off, when I get down to where I only have one rare, I want it to be one that I can dump points into for a while. In case I get ones that I don't want. So I'm trying to max out whatever's closest to getting maxed out. Let's max it out. One more time on the thorn. One more. Alright. Here we roll. Did we go look at this hole? Hole number seven, right? Hole number seven, hold on. Let me make sure I, I know what we're looking at here. Hole number seven, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you might also be able to get over there with a big topper. I think you might be able to, maybe. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what the deal is down in that hole. I can't remember if it was only an extra mile, apocalypse, I'll have to be real selective on that club car trading when I get to the point where I've got all my rares maxed out on like the epics. I'm trying to be consistent on ones that uh, like I have my A list and my B list. There's 20 epics. Here we go. Let's see which way my opponent's going. This wind's helping us a little. Now they can get over there, so we can use power three ball. Hit it great to the left, and I think they needed to hit it great to the left. It looked like they didn't put enough curl on it, but I could be wrong. Nice. Nice. Very nice. See if we can get out into a similar spot. Mm -hmm. Hitting it perfect. Similar. Very similar. This next shot though from this area down here is a very tough shot to get into the cup. Last time we were on this hole, like you're in that spot where you're like, eh, wind's not really a factor, and then you're in a spot, you're like, ah, eh, wind's a factor, and it wasn't working out quite right. It was a tough hole, like it, it's like, okay, hey, you got close, but close wasn't close enough. <laughs> There's Max. I'm in about mid club. It's like 2.2 .2 per ring. I'm going to do a two ring pull. That's a 10% adjustment. Hitting it perfect. <clears throat> In the hole! Eagle! There we go. That's a good, that's a good match. That's a tough spot to be in down there. 
All right. That was hole number seven. Hold on one second. All right, back again, hole number eight. Here we go. Now, did we figure this out? Now that's the, the way to come in at that hole, is that's the direction, but I really do, if you, if you don't have power three balls, you don't want to do them, hit yourself out into this area and look at this spot and see what kind of ball it would take to get over to this tip to do that rough bump. You could potentially do it from over here, but as far as like your angle to the cup, you're going off in this direction, so you're going to need the side spin to bring it around. Where out here, you may be able to do this with the wood. You may be able to get into your long iron range to do it from out here, but you'd be more along this edge. But I do think that there is a good rough bump from out there. It might not be bad to hit down into this area. You might be able to get that same long iron shot, but you're coming at it on this side where you got a better look at the rough. But there's some good shots on that hole. Hole number eight. Let's check it out. All right, Casper, there's a rough bump on this hole, and I think we've played this hole twice. And the first time, this is one of those rough bumps right here. This area, now I like these types of rough, this type of rough bump as opposed to this type when you're addressing the hole like this. Um, I like a little bit more room on the left or the right of the shot. And especially if you're doing with side wind here, you know, it's pretty easy to work the wind out. If you make a mistake or if something happens, you're along that line. In this little fatter area right here. But it seemed to me that if the wind was blowing, this is one of those holes that it's going to be super critical that we keep up with the wind. Because let's say that we were, if there was no, if it was pure side wind, let's say we were doing, you know, a 10% adjustment. And even if we, as we went around the arc and we got into tailwind, maybe we were doing a 15, but well, when we get over here to headwind on this side, we're doing a 20. And we're going to have to stay up on that wheel because I think this is going to be one of those holes that if we have any kind of headwind, let's just say we're normally doing a 10%, we're going to have to bump that up to at least a 30 because we're going against that headwind. But if we turn around the very next round or on the very back side and we get, or, you know, nine hole cut, but if, if you get a tailwind on there, then we'll have to adjust for that. We may not have to do the 30. We may just be able to stick with the 10. We're, I think that this rep bump could be problematic. It could be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try just to bounce off the fairway. And I'm going to try the rep bump. Let's, let's look. I, everybody, we all know how to get off the fairway there. Let's see if I can get this done. I think that I'm supposed to bring... A kingmaker here, but let's see if we can get our if we can get up there. We may not I may not be able to get up there with a katana. Hole number eight. Hole number eight. I think hole number nine is another one of those holes that I want to practice two or three times. Because I do think that there's a way to come at it where you can bring out lower power stuff and still get out to that area. And it's like a lot of these holes. Playdemic makes these holes, they're ball, a ball manufacturer. They make them so that it, uh, if you bring out a power five ball, is it easier? Hell yes. <laughs> and we're the ball manufacturer and we, and we know. But you can get it done with a power three ball. But this is one of those holes, kind of like the earlier one, where getting the drive down with the power three is not necessarily the issue. It's taking the second shot with that power three. I'm right at max club. Now I'm probably more towards mid. Yeah, he can pass the max, that's for damn sure. And now they're trying to reconnect me. Reconnect me, all right. It's gonna be one of those things where I just drop the shot. And maybe, let's see where I'd have to get with that top spin. Like that's how far I'd have to be way out there on the very tip with the top spin that's in a grizzly. I put it all on there be out in that area 
That might not be a bad area with this kind of wind. <clears throat> I'll take it from that side. I'll go all the way up to the tip. That'll get me more towards Max Cloud. If you wanted to take it from in front, a uh, Grim Reaper or a Saturn, whichever one has better ball guide. See if they can find the spot. Should be about two, three. Close. See if they can get that in the hole. That might be in. That might be in. It's close. We can get it in right here, right now. percent so four five that's one that's five 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 there's five five Hitting it perfect. See if we can clip the rough. Nope, missed it. Over pulled it. Because it was definitely out in the rough. And a perfect shot. Missing it to the right. Way over pulled it. In the hole. Birdie. I think I'm going to come at this hole. I'm, I'm going to go look at my... There's There probably is enough backspin on that Grizzly to be in front. If not, I may take my... Uh, that may be one of those holes that if I wanted to shoot in front and not do a rough bump there, the question is on Long Iron. It's between Grim Reaper at 3.8 ball guide and Saturn at 3.9, so there's not much to choose between the two of them. Yeah, I think one of these bags. Let's switch that for a Saturn. Compare the Saturn and the Grim Reaper. <clears throat> a little more distance. Accuracy is about the same. Saturn's definitely got more topspin. But that particular hole right there, we're not looking for topspin. We're looking for the backspin. I think overall, my Saturn's still probably a better choice. Definitely more comfortable with it. All right, hole number nine. Let's go check out hole number nine. The last one in the practice round. All right. I can tell you that with a, so, like what I know. What I know is if you have a power five ball and an extra mile eight, extra mile nine, probably a six and a seven, if the wind's blowing in the right direction, you can start off on this side right here and go forward. I'm not sure if you can make this, this spot with a power three ball. I'm sure you can with overpower. What I want to know is where can I get up this fairway with overpower and with my apocalypse and all of its massive curl, can I run myself down this fairway? Where I want to get is where, you, where the fairway starts to dip in and the rough takes over, this transition point, I want to be somewhere right along that line. I don't really need to get any closer. If you get if you can get down into this pocket, more power to you. But I don't want to risk bleeding off over here. If I was slightly off trajectory, I don't need to get I don't need to get that far. I'd rather be right here in the fairway. So I have no idea what I have no idea what I can get done along that side, trying to hit it from over on this fairway and bring it over. I might need to do a max overpower hook shot. So I've saved some tokens here. Obviously, I have twenty. <laughs> And I'm going to work this shot out, and I may go back to one of those other holes later and uh, try and work out that shot as well. All right. That's 
what I need. Let's go play it. I'm going to do the drive shot with an apocalypse. I'm not really concerned about anything. I'm not so concerned with the second shot as concerned to see like where can, what's possible on the drive. The problem with the Power 5 ball is, is that if when I was doing the shot the last time, we had a tailwind and we were right up against the red line. And there was very little room. There was only maybe a couple rings of room and you were in the rough. So it would only take four miles an hour of wind and you're going to have to start putting on overpower, even with the Power 5 ball. It would be nice to work out something with a Power 3, but... This is going to be the same thing. We may be able to work out something with the Power 3 ball, but there's no way in hell we're going to be able to... Uh... make the second shot. Alright, I want to land right in that area right there. Okay, so there's one set. There's, there's two sets. Right there on that on that shadow on that uh I'm gonna take the wind out. Try a max over power hook shot here. See if I can pick that fairway up. Just did not take it out far enough. Needed to take it out another ring set, another full five rings. thing is there, I need to actually go back and look at that. I damn near made it over to the other side. Like if I came in, if I was where I was at and I came in instead of going out so I could pick that fairway up, like where would that have put me? I'll have to go back and watch this. I may shoot a video of nothing but hole number nine after I watch that because there is a shot out there, I'm convinced. Now, we may have to bring out a power four ball for the second shot. But Because where you're trying to get is right where my opponent's at. Just popping it up there, trying to put it in the fairway. part of the problem right there. I'm really going to have to go back and watch that. I used a katana on that and I, for some reason I was thinking that I had a kingmaker on, but hell, I was way forward in that shot with a katana. Kingmaker might uh, could work out the trajectory on that. You could get a pretty good run down there. I'll go back and watch this video and then and then we'll see how many times it takes me to uh, to work the trajectory out after the first epic fail. <laughs> Is that right in the cup? <laughs> Close. Loose, I tell you. There's Max. There's Min. There's Mid. That's one three at mid. Three rings is three six. A little, maybe a ten percent over pull. Ah, oh, freaking greats! Waste all that time setting a shot up and then hit a great, and look at where it ends up. Great.
Put the ball to win. Yeah, I'm going to go back and watch that video, and I think I am going to shoot a separate video just on hole number nine, and I want to see what's possible up there with a max overpower hook and see what we can get done. All right. That was the nine-hole Sharuba Springs nine-hole cup. That was the uh, practice round. Got, a, got some pretty good looks on those holes. And um, I'm going to shoot a separate video for hole number nine because I think it'll take me a few shots to get that worked out. All right. Thanks for watching.